drop coverage right here. Look at this. You're dropping the big, okay? So now this player here has to be in backside help. See how he's going to be in backside help right here? So what does that do? That leaves his man, Devin Booker, wide open for a catch-and-shoot three. So let's take a look here how you actually can get a stop off of this. I want You obviously first need to cut this player's drive off here, okay? You're forcing him this way. The second he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than, than attack off of this big's hip, I can recover. In the meantime, where is this player going? The backside help is standing and waiting, okay? Um, but I'm going to be able to bump you back quickly anyways. But instead, you're in drop coverage. You put Now Chris Paul gets the lane, so this backside defender has really gets, is in no good position because he's got to guard two people, and it's a disaster. Oh, my God. Again with the drop coverage. So you create a two-on-one, and so in, when two-on-ones happen, that means someone gets an easy look. Look at if you hedge this screen. The sideline is right here, literally right here. The second that ball handler picks up his dribble, hesitates, brings his dribble back, which is going to be in less than a second with the sideline right there, I can recover. In the meantime, I need backside help for, like, less than a second, and then I can bump you back, okay? But instead, for some reason, you're giving Devin Booker the lane and DeAndre Ayton's wide open. You have to sprint back in transition. You cannot backpedal. There's no excuse that this player gets ahead of you. But when you backpedal like this player's doing, look, now he's ahead of you, and now you give up an easy two. Not gamble here. You're gambling that this is going to be a dribble handoff. See, look at that gamble. There is no dribble handoff. It's a fake dribble handoff, and this man's going to beat you back door. So Jay Crowder's wide open under the basket, and it's a two-shot foul. My goodness, Brandon Ingram, you have to sprint back in transition. Watch him. Look at this. Look at this jogging. Are you kidding me? If you are sprinting, you're here. Now, this player can easily go here, and we're fine. But you jog, so now you're in the middle of nowhere, and now there's nobody to guard the corner, so it's a wide-open three. Down screen. This is very elementary. Stop. Your man is setting a down screen. You need to get attached and get your arms out. So you, this player has to go out. He can't curl, and this player can chase and make it through. When you allow this player to curl like this, that chase is worthless, and it leads to a layup. Okay, you have to address this down screen first, okay? So this down screen happens. You've got to get your arms out. So this player cannot just curl right off of it. You force him to have to go out a little bit, and this player can chase. You don't defend this down screen at all. So this is what the look – look at this. Look at the separation. That's because of that down screen. So now this handoff you have no chance at. And so Devin Booker is right into the lane, and it's an easy alley-oop. Again, the sideline is right here. It is so easy to hedge this ball screen. Look at this. The second this ball handler hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, which will happen in less than a second because the sideline's right there. I can recover back to my man. In the meantime, the backside help is standing and waiting anyways. But instead, you're running this stupid drop coverage, and now Chris Paul gets right into the lane. It's a two-on-one, and it's an easy two for Aiden. This just can't happen. You cannot be standing in the paint. Look, this player's in the paint, okay? His man is in the corner, as we're about to see here. So now look. Now instead of you just being level with your man and ready to lift with him, now this forces a switch, which is totally botched, and now this player's wide open for a layup. Wow. Okay, so you switch this ball screen. There is no reason. Okay, hold on a second. This player cannot be guarding past the three-point line. You need to take a step in. Then this player needs to uh, bring his man this way. Okay, make sure he goes this way because there's no place to go. I can stunt without moving my feet and recover. But instead, you're just guarding one-on-one -on, -one on an island. Uh, you get caught in the air, and there's a two uh Two-shot foul. Here we are again in drop coverage. Look, you're just creating a two-on-one. Like, that's all. You're just giving up a two-on-one. That's your ball screen defense. Okay, let's get up and hedge. Okay, right now. The second this ball handler hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back. You know, with the half-court line being right there, that's going to be pretty soon. I can bump back. In the, in, the, in the meantime, I have backside help here. This player can slide up and occupy these Suns players two passes away. Okay? But... But again, I'm going to be able to bump you back, this backside defender, back pretty quickly. But instead, you'd rather just give up a two-on-one. It's a disaster. This player right here needs to communicate, okay? He's doing a great job of sprinting back, okay? He, he, he can get, he's going to get to this player right here, okay? You have to communicate this so this player isn't just getting to a random spot on the floor. He can actually move up and guard the three-point line. 
but I don't see communication because this player is just standing in no man's land, and it ends up being a wide-open Devin Booker three. The Suns are in the bonus. If you go for an offensive rebound, you have to show your hands and just go straight up. Look at this. So JaVale McGee's got the ball. Look at this player's hands. Right on his back. you got to just go straight up because now it's a cheap foul and the Suns are going to the line. Okay, if you're Larry Nance Jr. and you're switching this ball screen, you cannot sag on Chris Paul. Okay, this player's got a... This player's back cannot be to the sideline. It needs to be to the baseline. And now this player can get up and just send him this way. There's no place for him to go. But you sag on Chris Paul now, and you just give him a wide open three. Stop being in drop coverage. You're just giving it up a two-on-one, and now Aiton's just right there, and it's a short jumper. So let's take a look. Okay, this is empty side. These are real easy to uh, hedge up. Okay, this player's right here. This player sinks down and occupies the Suns player's two passes away. Second, this ball handler hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than continue to attack off of this big's hip. Okay, I can recover. All right, in the meantime, again, I have backside help, so I'm not worried. All right, but again, I'm going to be able to bump you back quickly anyways. But instead, you just want to give DeAndre Ayton the lane, and it's just too easy. Here you go again in drop coverage, so you're just giving Chris Paul a wide-open mid-range jumper. I mean, he is an artist at that. So, Jesus. So, anyways, hedge, get Chris Paul out of the lane, okay? The second he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than attack off of this big's hip, which isn't going to be for very long because the sideline's right there. I can recover. In the meantime, I need backside help right here. But, again, I'm going to be able to bump you over quickly anyways, but instead, no, you want to just give Chris Paul the exact jumper that he masters. Why is Valanchunas backing off Aiton here? Brandon Ingram is doing fine one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, look, Andy has a defender in the gaps. If you're Valanchunas, stay up on Aiton. All right, look at this. Where is he going? We do not need three defenders guarding the ball. So now Aiton's wide open, and it's another jumper. Dribble handoff. This is what you're supposed to do. Valanchunas just needs to take a half step back and let this player through. You do not go over the top of a dribble handoff. When you go over the top of a dribble handoff, this player just gets right to the rim for a layup. All right, you're trapping this ball screen. This is not, but stop, stop, stop. This is not where the backside help comes from. The backside help does not come from here. It comes from here. Okay? I. Uh, this is where your backside help comes from on a, on a trap. Okay? Um, but, uh, this player is coming in backside help. And so his man is just wide open one pass away and it's a three down screen. Come on. Here we go. Here's your down screen. What is this big doing? Get attached, get your arms out. Okay. Your man is setting a down screen. This player cannot curl. He has to go out. So this chase can happen, but you don't get your arms out. So now this player curls and it ends up being a two shot fall. Okay, this is like the worst gamble I've ever seen. Brandon Ingram, just get back, back, back. But nope, you go towards the ball and gamble. So now look, now this player goes right to the rim for a layup. This is on this player right here. When you get back, you want to just get back in a straight line. Only do you start going towards the ball or another body when you're at the three-point line. This is the quickest way to get back is just to sprint this way, this way. But this player is going to jog and go get back this way. So you've just guaranteed yourself that you're not getting back. So now this is a three-on-two, and this could have easily been a three-on-three, -three and it's a layup. Okay, you're in drop coverage on a pick-and-pop. That guarantees you're just giving up practice threes, which is exactly what that is. So again, you need to hedge, okay? Please look up. Look, if you hedge, hard hedge this, the second Chris Paul hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, which is going to be in, like, less than a second because the half-court line is right there. I can recover. In the meantime, where's DeAndre Ayton going? The backside defend defender's right here. And I'm going to be able to bump you back quickly anyways. But instead, you're in drop coverage, so you expect this big to drop to the ball then recover to the three-point line. That's never happening, and that's just wide open. Getting beat right now, this is Larry Nance guarding Chris Paul, so this is a big guard mismatch on the perimeter. If you're Larry Nance, get up, force him this way. Now, this player's got to be seeing the ball, okay? But this player can drop a little bit, okay? Maybe a half step, but see the ball. So now when Chris Paul comes, I'm forcing him this way. There's no place to go. I can stunt, easily recover. Instead, you get beat away from any of that gap help, and Chris Paul's right to the rim for a layup.
again, you're in drop coverage. You're giving Chris Paul the lane, and you're giving him numbers, and it's just a DeAndre Ayton layup. Get Chris Paul out of the lane. Look at this. Look if we hedge this ball screen. Before I even get into any of the other stuff, where is this big going? The backside defender is standing and waiting. Okay, also, obviously, the second Chris Paul hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than attack off of this big's hip this way, which pushes him further away from the play, I can recover and bump this backside defender one step back to where he was. But instead, you want to just give Chris Paul the lane, give him numbers, and it's a layup. Again, with drop coverage, Chris Paul again gets to go to exactly the spot he loves, and it's just a wide-open jumper. Okay, so we'll take a look. Let's see. We can hedge this for sure. Get Chris Paul out of here. The second he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back. Okay, does anything other than attack off of this big's hip, which isn't going to be for very long anyways if he does because the half-court line is right there. I can recover. In the meantime, this player isn't rolling anywhere because this backside defender is literally standing and waiting for him. And I'm going to be able to bump you back quickly anyways, one step. But instead, you just give Chris Paul the lane and you allow that mid-range artistry to continue. So again, you're in drop coverage and Aiton's going to pop here. Stop. Look at how far over this big, it's big ass to drop to the ball and then recover to Aiton. That's never happening. Look, now Aiton just gets it, pump fake and go into the lane and an easy two. So how do we guard this ball screen? All right, let's back it up to the beginning. All right, this is an empty side ball screen. So this player can get up, backside defender from right here. This player can occupy these Suns players two passes away. Second, Jay Crowder hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back. Does anything other than attack off this big zip this way? I can recover and bump you back, which is going to be quick. Okay? But instead, you're in drop coverage, and you're just asking Valanchunas to drop to the ball, then pop out to DeAndre Ayton, and, and it's a disaster. You want to be in the gaps on this drop coverage situation. You've already got to be in position. Your feet, if your feet take you inward, you're never getting back outward. Look at this. Look at this player. See how his feet are moving inward? Look at his feet. His feet still moving inward. Boom, you're dead. Now you're never getting back outward, and it's an open catch-and-shoot three. There is no reason to sag on Devin Booker. Stop. Just cut the court this way, okay? All you've got to do is get up and send him here. There's, I have gap defenders all over the place. But instead, you sag and you give up. Well, it ends up being a three-shot foul. Ugh. Again with drop coverage. Again letting Chris Paul get right to his favorite spot, and there you go. This is, this is like a comedy show at this point. Please get up and get Chris Paul out of the lane. The second he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than attack off this big sip this way, which is, isn't going to be for more than a second because the half court line's there, I can recover. In the meantime, the, the sun's spacing isn't any good. This backside defender can get up and take Aiton's roll, and I'm going to be able to bump you back anyways quickly. But nope, let's just give continue to give Chris Paul this wide-open jumper. Don't go up the gut of a down screen. If you're Brandon Ingram, you have to chase this way. When you go up the gut like this, bad things will only happen. You go up the gut, wide open three. Have to stay level to your man. This is good right here. You're level to him. Look at when you don't become level to him. See, why are you stopping? Why are you, you're, okay, why are you stopping this pass is being made? So now you're here. So Devin Booker is just going to, you're going to have to step up now on Devin Booker, and it's going to be an easy pump fake and go, and now it's a wide open uh, jumper. Again, with the stupid drop coverage, look at how open this roll is now. I mean, are you kidding me? All right, so let's take a look. Again, we obviously want to hedge and keep this guard out of the lane, okay? Push him out this way. Second, he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than attack off this big's hip that way, which just pushes him further away from the play. It can recover. In the meantime, easy backside help right here. This player can kind of occupy both of these Suns players two passes away, but I'm going to be able to bump you down quickly anyways. But nope, we want to just give up two-on-ones, and that's exactly what happens. If you get screened, you get screened, and our ball screen defense can execute. Look at this. You are already leaning towards a screen that never gets set. Play him one-on-one. -on -one. If you get screened, then the ball screen defense comes into effect. But you're feeling out a screen that never gets set. So now this player goes right to the rim for a layup. Okay, I have no idea what this player is doing here.
I, I, I can't explain it. You're not doubling. You're not doing anything. Get to your guy. What is – okay, fine. You don't want to get – okay, you want to stand in no man's land. Fine, now the shot's up. Now go to your guy and box him out, okay? Maybe you're not going to get the rebound, but you guarantee that your own man – won't get the rebound, and if it's a long rebound, if you don't box out, you turn it into a 50-50 ball. Look at this. No box out whatsoever, long rebound, and an and one. You cannot switch over the top of a ball screen. Devontae Graham, you got to get underneath, okay, and initiate contact with JaVale McGee, okay? When you switch over the top like this, look, now JaVale McGee is going to catch this way too low, and you're going to be forced to foul him, uh, and it's going to be two shots. Where are you getting beat if you're guarding Chris Paul here? Are you kidding me? Stop. You got to turn your hips. If if Chris Paul goes this way, there's no place to go. But instead, you let him go away from any help, and now it's just straight to the rim and a two-shot foul. Cannot be going underneath a ball screen with Chris Paul. You can see this player trying to go underneath. You're just going to give up a wide-open three. Please hedge. Okay, this guard needs to get over the top. All right? So right now in this ball screen, first of all, his guard should be guarding Chris Paul higher. Why? Because then the ball screen gets higher. Okay? Now look, now we're hedging here. Now Chris Paul, uh, the second he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than attack off of the big who is hedging high's hip, which just pushes him further away from the play, I can recover. In the meantime, forgetting all of that, where's JaVale McGee even going to roll to? The backside defender is standing and waiting. <laughs> There's no place to go. And and when I hedge, I'm going to be able to bump you back quickly anyways. But instead, you're just going to go under and give Chris Paul a wide open three. Going underneath the screen, you've got to jam the screener. You're up, you're showing your hands, you're jamming the screener. So this player has a much smoother route underneath. Okay? When you don't jam the screener, look at how much more challenging it is to go underneath. So now Larry Nance has to step up. There's nobody to take JaVale McGee on this roll, and it's just a dunk. Not go under this ball screen with Chris Paul. It's just wide open. All right, please, he- please hedge. Okay, right now this screen getting set. I'm up. I'm pushing Chris Paul out this way. The second he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back. Does anything other than attack off of this big hip, which just pushes him further away from the play. It can recover. In the meantime, I need a backside defender right here. But if Chris Paul, who remember we're pushing out here, wants to make a skip pass all the way here, I have plenty of time to recover. And it doesn't matter because I'm going to be able to bump you back quickly anyways. But instead, you're just constantly giving him wide open threes. Okay, so now you switch this ball screen with Chris Paul. Okay, beautiful. So, what... That Larry Nance can't sag. We have a defender right here in the gaps. He can even get up the line a little bit. But get up, force him this way. There's no place to go. But instead, you're not sending him anywhere. You're just going to end up sagging. Look at this. And this is incredible. Sag, sag, wide open three. Another ball screen switch here with Larry Nance going on to Chris Paul, okay? So again, right now we just saw you, we just saw you get roasted like this, okay? So they're going to turn this into a one three ISO. You have to double team this, okay? This player is angling here, bringing him right into this double team right here. I mean, the guy's standing and waiting. You got to bring him there, and then this player rotates here. This player rotates here, and then this player just falls back on to the man uh, down low, okay? But instead. Larry Nance isn't sending him anywhere. He's just going to try and guard him one-on-one, and of course it doesn't work. If you want to guard Chris Paul full court, okay, right now you've got to lean, flip your hips, send him this way where there's, again, no place to go. But instead, you're just all over Chris Paul. You're not sending him anywhere. So now you're not sending him into any gap help, and now he just gets right to the rim. And again, it's an easy two. Okay, we're going to look at this player right here. You have to sprint back, all right? Look at this player jog and jog. And jog. See, if you had sprinted back, now you're here. So now I can force, get up now and force Chris Paul this way where there's no place to go. I'd have a defender right here, and this defender is already there. But instead, you're just backpedaling back. So look, you're literally just going to end up screening your own man, and now this Chris Paul's right to the rim for a layup. It all starts with not defending this down screen. Here is a down screen right here. This player's back should never be to the sideline, okay? He should be attached to his man and with his arms out. So this player cannot just curl right off of it. He's got to go out, and this chase can happen. When you do nothing about this down screen right there, see the screen? Look at the separation now. Now you're screwed off this dribble handoff. 
And now De- uh, Devin Booker's going to get right into the lane, draw help. That's going to lead to an open jumper. Again, stupid drop coverage. You're giving up a two-on-one. So now DeAndre Ayton misses. Big has to contest so he can get it right back for two. So let's not just give up two-on-ones. That's always a bad idea, I believe. So this player should be up. Again, look where the sideline is. The second Chris Paul hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, which is going to happen in a second because the sideline is right there. I can recover. In the meantime, I need backside help here for like one second, and then I can bump you back. But instead, nope, let's give up two-on-ones. Let's let DeAndre Ayton catch it right in the lane, and it's an easy offensive rebound and put back. If you're switching a dribble handoff, it sure better be on time, okay? Look at this. This player's not come off this handoff yet. If this player comes off the handoff, then you go here and you go under here. But you're already switching a handoff, so now it turns into a fake dribble handoff uh, and a two-shot foul for Phoenix. Again with drop coverage. So the Suns are in the bonus. Look at Devin Booker's going to snake dribble right here. So this gar- uh, sorry, Brandon Ingram, who's defending from over the top, now you know has to stay over the top because you allow Devin Booker to snake dribble like this. So now Brandon Ingram's just going to get to gamble and get called for a cheap foul there. But you put Brandon Ingram in such a bad spot to defend him by having to defend from over the top. So get up, push this guard out this way. The second he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than attack off of this big's hip, okay, I can recover. In the meantime, this player has no place to roll to. The backside help is right there, and I'm going to be able to bump you back quickly anyways. But instead, you make Brandon Ingram have to guard from over the top, and that just ends up leading to a cheap foul and two shots for Phoenix. Okay, so you finally hedge the screen. But the problem is, again, what do we say? Whenever Chris Paul hesitates or brings his dribble back, well, he just brought his dribble back now. So Valanciunas should be sprinting back. This backside defender should be up here. But again, Valanciunas should be sprinting back and already bumping this player back. But what is Valanciunas doing? He's standing out there for so long, and now this player doesn't be able to get it Go right into the lane, and it's a layup. One more drop coverage for the road, I guess. Look at this. You just give Chris Paul the lane. So, I mean, it's just a, you get and a layup. Okay, so again, you run drop coverage, but the second Chris Paul hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, I'm gone. Okay? And that happens quickly when you, he- when you hard hedge. Again, also, I mean, I, where's this player rolling to? The backside help is right here, and I'm going to be able to bump you back anyways. But it's just, you know, this ball screen defense is so pathetic.